Hello and welcome to our first Recipe Wednesday as a part of the 2023 Strive for Health April Wellness Challenge. My name is Mary Ann Wright and I'm a 4-H area educator and assistant to the regional coordinator for Lincoln University Cooperative Extension. The Strive for Health April Wellness Challenge is designed to teach youth how to be conscious of what they're eating and what they're doing to try to live a healthier lifestyle. And so today's Recipe Wednesday we are going to be making an interesting salad, but we're going to be doing a twist on it. So we are making a caprese salad, but in the form of a kebab. So caprese kebabs is the recipe that we're going to do today. And I have two great helpers, and they are? Elijah and Justice. Okay, so Elijah and Justice are going to tell us what we need to do this recipe. Okay, so 12 cherry tomatoes. 12 mini fresh mozzarella balls, 12 fresh basil leaves. Okay. Two tablespoons olive oil, two teaspoons balsamic vinegar, 12 mini skewers, four long toothpicks, salt and pepper. Okay. So you do not need very many ingredients. So a caprese salad typically has tomato, basil, and mozzarella. So we have those same ingredients. So the first thing that you need to do is be sure to wash and dry your fresh produce. So we have washed and dried our tomato and our basil. We also have washed our own hands because we're gonna be cooking with our hands today. So just like any recipe, you should always wash your hands before you start. Okay, the first thing is we have a longer toothpick or a mini skewer and we're going to take that and thread one of our mini mozzarella balls and so you can actually find these in the grocery store um, usually with the fresh cheese section so you want to grab one of those Elijah? Yes. Yes. And so fresh mozzarella is sort of wet to the touch so you'll notice that when you open that but that just means it's fresh and yummy. So we're going to take our skewer and we're going to go right through our mozzarella balls just like this so that's the first step then we're going to take a piece of fresh basil and fresh basil smells so good you can also buy this in your produce section and we actually bought one of um, a plant and so we can use it and it just keeps growing so this piece is not so big so we're going to fold our leaf in half and then we're going to follow right after that mozzarella ball. And we finish with a grape or a cherry tomato. So today we are using grape tomatoes. Grape tomatoes are a little bit sweeter, so you might like those a little bit better than cherry tomatoes on this recipe, but either one will be great. So now we've assembled our little caprese kebabs, and we need to do our next step. So step um, five is to whisk together our kind of dressing. So Elijah is going to help me with this. We need two tablespoons of olive oil. So there's one. Mm -hmm. And two. And then our second ingredient is two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. So Justice has that there, and we'll add our balsamic vinegar to that. One, and two. And when you pour your balsamic, you'll smell it, because it does have a distinct smell. We're gonna take a whisk, and we're just gonna whisk that together. Okay, once it's whisked together, you're just going to pour a drizzle over the top of your kebabs. So this recipe is made for 12, so that should be the amount of dressing you need for 12 kebabs. And we only have three right here, so we're just going to drizzle just a tiny bit over the top. And then our last thing is to season with salt and pepper as desired. So we're just going to do a little salt and pepper over the top for some seasoning. And now it's time to try 
our caprese kebab. So, okay, girls, let's see what it tastes like. The whole thing in your mouth. What do you think? Would you make this at home? Great. We hope that you will try this and you'll make it at home. It's very simple. It's a great salad to start your meal or an appetizer. You can serve it if you have to have a party and you don't know what to serve. This is a great thing. You can find this recipe along with all of the other material for the Strive for Health April Wellness Challenge in our Google Drive. It's linked in the description of this video. And we hope that you'll continue to watch our videos and tune in every Monday for Move It Monday and every Wednesday for Recipe Wednesday throughout the month of April. Thanks a bunch. Bye.